Hey there, Wondering Watchers. Welcome to this unboxing and flip through video of two decks that I backed on Kickstarter. The decks were created by a group of illustrators and artists called 78 Tarot. Last year, I backed their Kickstarter for 78 Tarot Animal, Tarot of the Wild, and I have a video of that unboxing and flip through as well. But let's dive into the unboxing of these two new decks, 78 Tarot Magical, Tarot of the Fantastical, and Fool's Items Oracle. So here, this is, I'm assuming, the several stretch goal rewards of postcards and stickers, bookmarks, magnets, and here are the decks. So, oops. Okay, so you can see that they are very similar in their size. I believe they're both 3.25 inches by five and a half inches. And these are larger than the typical tarot cards. So let's see here. This is the, oh, Fool's Items Oracle, Oracle of Enchantment. So here's this little slip on. And here is the box. And here is the tarot deck slip on cover is a little bit more snug. Okay. Okay, so we'll get to those in a second. Um, these slip on uh, sleeves, I guess you can keep them not keep them. I don't use them for my other decks that I got from these creators. But let's take a look at this uh, thank you packet which the uh, stretch gold rewards. So here are all the stretch goal rewards that are laid out. Uh, there is also this uh, QR code for the guidebooks. I decided not to get the physical guidebooks, um, even though they were beautifully done for the last tarot deck that I got. I just happened to read through it once and haven't uh, gone through it again. So I figured I'll just get the PDFs for this. So here you can see this is uh, a postcard. This is supposed to be of the temperance card. This is the Knight of Swords. This is the King of Pentacles postcard. The Six of Cups postcard. The Four of Wands postcard. Will it, will it focus? Let's see. There. Four of Wands. And this is the postcard for the altar card that I believe is in the Oracle deck. So here are some bookmarks. This is the Hope bookmark. The Ace of Wands bookmark have the lovers and the frog. We also have this mouse bookmark. And here are a bunch of stickers. So we have death and ace of cups. We have the world and this owl card or our owl sticker. And these magnets, we have this mushroom and I'm assuming this one is the star. So we'll start off with 78 Tarot Magical, Tarot of the Fantastical. Here we have this magnetic clam shell box. Uh, you've got some uh, like foil on the inside. It's got this ribbon. 
to pop out the cards. Okay, on the inside, it says those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Rolled doll. So this is um, the author of those um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory books, or that quote is from that author. And here on the back, we have this limited edition. Uh, 78 Tarot presents their ninth collaboration, 78 Tarot Magical, Tarot of the Fantastical. Our ninth deck brings together 81 artists from across the globe, each creating a stunning card image to honor the wonderful world of magic. And it has their website, www.78tarot.cards. Okay, so let's take a look at the deck. So here is the back of the tarot deck and you can see the gold uh, gilded edges here. Now the cards, they feel slightly glossy. There is supposed to be a protective UV spray matte finish on these cards and I wouldn't know one way or the other. They just feel kind of, kind of slippery and glossy to me. The cards are pretty flexible. There is a 350 GSM card stock that's used for these. So we start off with the Fool. And so this is supposed to be like a portal and the Fool going through the portal and this accompanying uh, like white dragon is supposed to be possibly like the uh, like the spirit of the dragon. I don't know if it's supposed to be the equivalent of the dog um, in the traditional fool. Here we have the magician. We have the high priestess here. We have here the empress with the red that really pops. We have here the emperor. Um, the traditional emperor has armor and I believe like a cloak, but here um, this emperor just has these like horns and this bow and arrow to kind of indicate that this emperor is prepared and aware and kind of very intentional about you know what they're doing and they still have all the experience and knowledge that the traditional emperor has. Here we have the higher fence and it's kind of a, a sense of like this stone creature um, having all this uh, knowledge of of the world. Here we have the lovers. This is supposed to be like a satyr and I believe a, a sea um, a sea nymph, something along those lines. Here we have the chariot with a red uh, dragon and a yellow dragon. We have the strength card with this, uh, it's supposed to be like a chimera and these little uh, mouse here that is going to help the creature that is um, caught in this um, these wall of thorns. Here we have the hermit, the wheel of fortune. I do like the nice uh, green flow of power there. Here we have the justice card that is supposed to be a uh, banshee. The hanged one here with their own hair braided and tying them up with their uh, head kind of in the water to get new perspective. The death card offering you this um, this rose here. You have this temperance card 
uh, Selena Fennec. This artist does um, Oracle of the Mermaids. So I like this artwork, this artist's work. Here we have the devil. The tower. Uh, and this is supposed to be, you know, uh, the idea here is there's humans in the tower who had been, um, you know, dragon hunters and destroying dragons. And they really weren't prepared for uh, this type of like turmoil, destruction. Here we have the star, the moon, and that is supposed to be um, a willow the wisp teasing you to come into the darkness. Here we have this baby chick phoenix in the sun. And here we have the judgment card with this fawn playing pipes and all the um, little magical animals following. And here we have the world card. It's a sky pirate um, high above the world. You can see there's some like scrapes and scars to show the um, adventure along the way. Here is the bonus card. This is a guide. Uh, so the keywords here are guidance, surrender, and faith. Basically, the universe sends signs and guides to get our attention and to keep your eyes and mind open. So here, another like bonus card or wild card is this hope. Keywords, inspiration, hope, guidance and that there is hope within you and basically to be kind to yourself and others. So here we are in the pentacles. We have the ace of pentacles. You have here the two of pentacles with these goblins. You have one goblin, this elderly goblin, uh, riding a unicycle and smoking this pipe it has the infinity symbol and this more youthful goblin holding this other pentacle up here. We have the three of pentacles. With these uh, wizard students working together. The four of pentacles with this uh, dragon's lair. And here are these four pentacles that it is... Um, trying to protect. You have the five of pentacles with this wizard whose spell has kind of failed and um, you know really isn't recognizing that there's other pentacles here that they can use to you know fix things. We have this six of pentacles and it's supposed to be this baker giving um, bread to the, uh, I believe the homeless children in the area. The seven of pentacles. We have these dwarves that are trying to get these pentacles out of, uh, out of this cave and it just gets more crystals and it's kind of like they're getting frustrated that they can't get to the actual pentacles. Here we have the Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles with this um, Elven family. We have this, um, what is it, Gnome who's super excited that they were able to create, manifest this Pentacle. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And this is a stone golem protecting this cave and doing the hard work, heavy lifting. This queen of pentacles, who is uh, a fairy witch that is you know, focusing and nurturing their pentacle. And here we have this king of pentacles 
uh, which is a, a minotaur. Now we are in the Ace of Swords or Swords, and you have these uh, like uh, lightning and these tendrils, these vine tendrils wrapping around the sword. We have the Two of Swords. And this person is kind of without sight and found these these two uh, two swords. We have here the three of swords and here it's this priestess who decided to harden their heart and make this ruby heart but even the ruby heart is cracked and dripping blood here. We have here the four of swords and this is supposed to be like some hidden groves. We have the five of swords and this is supposed to be uh, someone who tried to uh, locate this legendary dark runic sword. We have the six of swords with this um, sky vessel. We have seven of swords with this sword merchant. Eight of swords. We have here the nine of swords. You can see the swords hanging down and here's someone sleeping. It's kind of not sleeping well and this succubus is kind of tormenting this individual. We have here the Ten of Swords, and this is supposed to be like an hourglass and a coffin here. We have this Page of Swords that is kind of manifesting this idea in their hand. We have the Knight of Swords, uh, it's like a wizard warrior. We have this uh, Queen of Swords that is kind of like a, a spirit. And the King of Swords that is like this storm and lightning creature. Now we're in the Wands. We have the Ace of Wands. Um, you can see there is an egg at the top and a rose coming out and this uh, salamander. We have the two of swords with this fawn that climbed up uh, a precipice so they'd have a better view of things. We have the three of wands with this toadstool wanting to kind of progress, move forward. Four of Wands, you have this um, young girl dancing with a tapestry. We have the five, did I say swords? These are wands, five of wands. Um, and this is supposed to be like competition and conflict amongst all these um, different creatures. Here is the Six of Wands, and this is supposed to be um, some type of and a queen, a warrior queen. This is an ogre who was just wandering in the forest at night trying to bother no one, and then these uh, mice come to attack. We have the Eight of Wands with this witch practicing magic. This Nine of Wands with this dragon protecting its horde. Ten of Wands with this uh, kraken taking down a ship. And Ten Wands. We have the Page of Wands 
with this uh, Salamander Apprentice here. The Knight of Wands, an Afferet, who wants to, what is it, um, who severed their bond uh, from a sorcerer. Here we have the Queen of Wands and this Griffin King of Wands. Now we are in the Cups, the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups with, um, I believe that's supposed to be an Orc and a Human who are toasting their their victory, an orc warrior and a human. And the three of cups, we have here these uh, carousing sailors celebrating. The four of cups, this mermaid who spilled the contents of this cup. The five of cups, and basically you know, a um, magical endeavor gone wrong. We have hamsters having a tea party with the Six of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups here, uh, a witch trying to figure out what they want to do. We have here the Eight of Cups and a, um, see the, the wreckage of a boat and like a, a siren and someone here who has put on a blindfold so they can't see or hear the siren. We have the nine of cups. Uh, this serpentine dragon is kind of clutching or wrapping itself around all these cups to, I guess, embrace their triumph. You have the Ten of Cups with this uh, mom and child mermaid leaving their area for the first time and kind of going out into this big sea. We have here the Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups found this, like, um, this heart stone or coral. We have here the Queen of Cups, a Naga Queen. I guess it's like part human, part Cobra. And we have here the King of Cups. So here is the magnetic clamshell box for the Fool's Item Oracle deck, Oracle of Enchantment. On the back, it says the universe is full of magical things, patiently waiting for our wits to grow sharper. Eden Philpots. Not sure who that is, but if you know, I'd love to find out. So, here on the inside, we have Fool's Items Oracle. Again, this kind of like um, gold foil and this black ribbon. Okay, and then here it says on the inside, 78 Tarot presents their 10th collaboration and their debut oracle, the Fool's Items Oracle, designed to be a companion to our magical tarot deck or used as a standalone oracle. This deck brings together 55 artists from across the globe, each creating a stunning card image to honor the wonderful world of magic. Okay, so let's get into this deck. So here is the back of the Oracle deck. It's got the same kind of glossy feel to it and it's the same cardstock as the tarot deck. The 
edges are gilded in bronze as opposed to the gold foil. As I go through the flip through of Fool's Items Oracle, I will also read off the keywords in the guidebook. So here we have Akashic Records, Rewriting Your Future, Spirituality, Making Change. Here we have Altar, Sacred Space, Spiritual Focus, Drawing Strength. Here we have this amulet card and keywords here are protection, self-care, and barriers. We have armor. The keywords here are defense, security, safeguarding. Here we have a theme. It's a ceremonial uh, or ritual dagger. So the keywords are focus, accuracy, directing energy into truth. So basically uncovering the truth, um, seeing both sides of it, like the two sides of this dagger. Here we have this bell card. The keywords here are communication, connection, spirits around us. So the concept that uh, we are connected uh, to everything through the vibration of this, um, the tone of the bell. Here we have these bones and the keywords here are mortality, timelessness, legacy. So basically, you know, everything kind of dies and you have to make the most of your time here. Here we have this broomstick card. Keywords, clearing negativity, cleansing, renewing. So to sweep away negativity, whether those are items or you know, people. Here we have candles. The keyword is, or the keywords are hope, light, power of self. So basically recognizing that you have this um, burning light within you. So with cauldron here, the keywords are transformation, creation, germination. So basically like developing uh, endless plans and possibilities. Here we have this chalice card and the keywords are tradition, celebration and sacrament. So um, basically having you kind of consider the sacred activities um, that you spend your, your time on. With this cloak card here, the keywords are hidden, covered, masked. And basically it asks you to Consider what might be hidden from you. Here we have coins. The keywords are abundance, gratitude, success. You have this compass card here. The keywords are motivation, movement, direction. So basically uh, to kind of get going on whatever plans you put into place. Here we have constellation. The keywords are connection, vastness, timelessness. Um, basically that none of us are alone and we are connected to the vastness of the universe. Here we have crystal ball. The keywords are clarity, vision, understanding. So kind of um, give yourself time to to see the issues and get all the important details. Here we have crystals. The keywords are healing, balance, energy cleansing. So it's saying to spend time and energy bringing balance and tranquility back into your life, being gentle with yourself. We have the element air. 
The keywords are thought, influence, and communication. So basically, your words have um, like power. The things that you think have power, your intentions, your ideas. So you have element earth here with these uh, mushrooms and even like the symbol for the element of earth. Keywords are manifestation, reality, growth. And this asks you to rededicate yourself to the care of those areas of your life needing your time and devotion. So to kind of um, kind of work on those those seeds and ideas within us. Here we have element fire. The keywords are cleansing fire, reinvigoration, regrowth. Um, you are reminded how powerful your passion and energy are. Here we have element water. Keywords are intuition, revival, cleansing. So basically to dive into your emotions, into healing, cleansing waters of intuition. We have here element spirit, keywords, purity, divinity, power. So give yourself time and space to honor yourself, the miracle of you. Time to be still and listen to feel and to appreciate power and radiance within every fiber of your existence. Now we have essential oils. The keywords are wellness, restoration, self-care. You have familiar bunny here, super cute bunny. Keywords, growth, nature, care. And basically a reminder of your connection to earth, soil, plant, tree, shrub, basically you and nature. Here we have the familiar cat. The keywords are mystery, signs, curiosity and basically to see the magic and mystery of life. Here we have familiar frog, keywords, creativity, potential, higher, level, uh, higher levels of consciousness. So your imagination can brighten your world and basically to um, unlock your crea creativity. Here we have familiar mouse. Keywords, adaptability, flexibility, determination. Um, you are warned to keep a watchful, watchful eye over your resources, financial and material. Be sensible and cautious. Here we have familiar owl. Keywords, mysteries, knowledge, wisdom. Uh, do not overlook what lies right in front of you. Here you have herbs. The keywords are medicine, healing, and balm. Listen to your mind, body, and soul and give them the healing they need. You have hourglass. The keywords are changes, time, and life. Um, ask yourself if you are making the most of the time you have. It's easy to be distracted. Um, and basically push yourself to achieve your goals. So here we have house and the keywords are home, comfort, sanctuary. And basically listen to your heart and mind. Um, let's see here. Basically, if you need time away from, you know, the world, just listen to yourself and recharge. Here we have incense. So the keywords are senses, spirituality, enlightenment. It's asking you to reconnect to your spiritual center. And here you have this lantern card. Keywords, knowledge, learning, enlightenment. And basically it says, you know, this is part of uncovering the truth and you need to, um, you know, possibly turn to others for advice to find the knowledge and not just look at the surface. Here you have this map card, keywords, planning, travel, moving toward change. And here it basically says, put yourself first and make a plan and have a better future. Here you have this mirror card. The keywords are 
authenticity, reflection, truth versus projection. Um, acknowledge the truth even when you want to avoid it. Ask hard questions. Here we have moon. Keywords, phases, cycles, change. You're asked to prepare for a change. A time of evolution is coming. Here we have these uh, mushrooms. Keywords, rebirth, transformation, evolution. Um, be gentle with yourself as you navigate a period of transition. You have here plants. Keywords, nature's wisdom, marvels, magic. Dive into the natural world to let the wisdom of the wild teach you. It's basically saying go to a park, spend time in nature, and listen to what's there. You have here this poppet, um, which is kind of a, a doll effigy as opposed to like a voodoo doll. It's for protection. Uh, keywords, representation, power, intention. You are the most powerful tool, basically. Um, your intention is the heart of every spell. Here we have this portal card keyword keywords transition gateway transition gateway opportunity you are advised that life is offering you a chance to leave your current position behind and stride purposefully to where you really want to be here we have potion keywords speed action focus you are urged to take action rather than waiting on the sidelines there's an opportunity for you to move forward here is the quill card, keywords, communication, creation, motivation. Uh, reminded of the power of your words, caution not to use them irresponsibly. Communication is a powerful tool to motivate yourself and others. Here we have this ritual card, keywords, ritual, celebration, rite. You are asked to examine the care you are devoting to the rituals within your life. Okay, so here you have this robe card. The key words are conformity, custom, tradition. So here acknowledge the customs and beliefs of those around you. Listen to facts, theories, and advice, even to consider a more traditional course of action for now. Here are the uh, runes card. Keywords, seeking wisdom, knowledge, exploration. Consider the satisfaction gained, exercising, and challenging your brain. So like learning something new every day. Here we have this sage card. Keywords, healing old wounds, mental growth, development. You are advised a period of healing is coming to you. You're asked to put yourself first. Here we have this salt card. Keywords, clearing negativity, cleansing purity, Spend some time cleansing your mind, body, and spirit of negativity. Be gentle with yourself and um, recognize that we are influenced by a critical world. Here we have this scroll card. Keywords, wisdom, learning, focus. Here you're asked to appreciate the current limits of your knowledge and how much you still have to learn. Focus on problems you can solve. Here you have sigils, keywords, manifestation, invocation, intention. You are urged to be proactive in achieving your dreams and goals. Don't wait for them to come to you. Here we have this spell jar, keywords, ingredients, mix, blend. The best spells are often a carefully combined mix of ingredients rather than one single spell focus. Consider how your connections can help you achieve your dreams. Staff, keywords, strength, support, stability. You are gently prodded to accept help. No one can bear every burden alone. So here it's lean on others for support or ask for help. Here we have telescope, keywords, perception, vision, clarity. Concentrate, remind, uh, let's see here. Oh, you can't hit the target if you do not see it distinctly. So it's kind of like a clear your vision focus card. Here we have tome, 
keywords, truth, knowledge, certainty. You are urged to do your research. Um, kind of like don't dive in unprepared. We have here vials, keywords, potential, creativity, fun. You are prompted to think of the last time you allowed yourself to be carefree to indulge in some fun and experimentation. And finally, we have wand, keywords, power, authority, skilled, uh, basically embrace the infinite possibilities within you and step into your potential. You can do anything you want to. So that is Fool's Items Oracle. With these deck backs next to each other, I can see the kind of little bit of difference here. We have like uh, cauldrons for the tarot deck and these are like sacks for the oracle deck. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some shuffling of this tarot deck. Um, because of its size, I don't think I can do anything other than these kind of like side fold ins. Um, well, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. Uh, nope, nope. Well, maybe. Yeah, it's probably not even worth it. I can't even get my hands around it. So that is the tarot deck. Let's see about the oracle deck. Okay, so same kind of feel, maybe because it is only 55 cards, I can get my hands around this one, not easily, and that's pretty chunky. So I will probably need to just do the side shuffles for both these decks. If you have uh, longer fingers than me, you could probably do the um, kind of the split down the middle kind of shuffling. So I'm gonna do deck interview of the 78 Tarot Magical. This is supposed to be just your um, your basic RWS um, themed cards or based upon the Rider Waite Smith deck. So I'll go ahead and do some more shuffling and then we will go ahead and do the deck interview. So I went ahead and shuffled these cards. I'm going to shuffle it one more time and I'm going to pull four cards to tell me about this deck uh, respectively to let me know the current energy, the deck's current strength, what it wants to strengthen, and what it wants to teach others. So here we have the current energy the Ten of Pentacles. In terms of its current strength, the Six of Wands. What it wants to strengthen, the Ace of Wands. And what it wants to teach others, the Eight of Wands. The card at the bottom of the deck, the Influencing Energy, we have the King of Pentacles. So this is a card of uh, material, wealth, and success. The Ten of Pentacles, the current energy of the deck. This, I believe, is also kind of a sense of material, wealth, and success, and sharing that with the people that you care about. Its current strength, the Six of Wands, uh, a sense of uh, accomplishment, victory, uh, being able to overcome challenges and be recognized by people around you. In terms of what it wants to strengthen, the Ace of Wands, I kind of get a sense of like um, to strengthen inspiration, creativity, uh, passion. And in terms of what it wants to teach with this Eight of Wands, um, kind of like progressing to uh, towards success. That's what I have for now. I hope this provides a helpful perspective of these two new tarot decks by 78 Tarot. We'll see you next time. Take care.